Well, it's day 28. <clears throat> Good morning. We, at 617, just have to pack up my backpack and we're off to the hot springs. <clears throat> this is where we camped last night. <clears throat> we had some visitors from some little furry things, but with my stealthy skills, I was able to battle them off and all of our food is safe. So let's see how fast we can break this camp and get on up. I can already feel a warm gust of wind. This is gonna tell us how it's a pokey day to hike the PCT. Look at this beautiful view. Wow. You can quiet. Just wanted to show everybody. This tall, beautiful grass and the sunshine. Wow, it's so pretty. Well, we made it to the hot springs. Oh my God, I cannot wait. This is gonna be so amazing. <laughs> So this is Deep Creek Hot Springs. There are many pools. Oh, and lots of squirrels. You can see a big one over there. They go after everyone's food and literally uh, dig through them. Oh, that looks cool. This water is so clear. I'm just wondering if this one's hot or cold. That one's cold. Oh my God, this is so nice. And then you go over here there's Alex. And then you go over here and there's some more hot springs here. Actually, no, there's a better spot over here. Let me show you. This is the coolest thing in the whole wide world. It's Charlie. So come down this path and there's like four. And these are all hot springs. Look at that. And there's our friend, our fellow hiker. You're gonna love this. Oh, and as he was saying, there's three more pools behind him. There's three more. There's one in the middle, one right below it, and the hottest one is like rain down there. Nice. If you go around, if you're going through here, it's slippery, you might stop your head. I don't want to do that. Yeah, so just go around, and that's the way you can hike this way. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Okay, no time to waste. Okay. We're going in. Hi, Oh my god, you guys. Oh, so where, deep in here. where are we? Oh, that's the one. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> it's like this. We're in. Oh, see, this is why I like the PCT. Gotta go keep on going because there's cool stuff like this. <clears throat> Yeah, pretty nice. Well, that was incredible. Like, truly incredible. I cannot express that is like super hot. How oh, awesome this was. And this is where the hot water comes out of. And then it flows into this garden oasis. And if I can describe what we just saw in there, there were trees with butterflies and dragonflies, Erica. Erica, you would go nuts. There were dragonflies that were red, blue, green. I thought they came in one color. There were butterflies. There were frogs, tadpoles, it's, and the hot pools had like a cool, hot, medium, and then warm. It's probably the most magical place I've ever been to. It had flowers growing out of the rocks, and it had rope swing, and kids laughing, and it was really nice um, when we were here earlier this morning because 
it was so quiet and as I get older you know kids can splash and makes it less romantic but I sadly say goodbye to this magical oasis the hot springs in the middle of the PCT so look at this it's a rainbow bridge you can see the colors from the um, coming down the steep bank we just came up but oh wouldn't that be so cool if all the puppies and all the doggies and, that we've lost were on this other side that would be very cool but sadly it's just more desert Well, this is the strangest thing. We finally got to the end of um, the last thing I filmed. And there's a big, huge dam, like in the middle of the desert. And it just makes me go, hmm. Apparently it's like a US Navy water carrier holder thingy. But anyways, um, it just looks so bizarre within this landscape. Here's another view of the dam at sea level, shall we say. It's not sea level, I know, but it's our sea level right now. But yeah, I'm sure I'll learn some more about it and let you know. Well, I have to say, what happens on the trail is very interesting. We just went to this tavern or bar, or I'm not quite sure. But it was pretty cool. Um, pretty just like out there. Like, if you think about it, we're in Southern California in the middle of literally nowhere. And there's dogs running in and out of the bar. And just, you know, Trump like just interesting just really really interesting and we just got a ride back all of my ibuprofen that was in my pocket turned to paste and this nice trail angel just gave me a bottle of it uh, my blisters so bad that my toes are like my big toe and on top of my foot is literally splitting open. It hurts so much to hike. Um, but uh, that's that magic experience at the this water carry is killing me. So we have lots of water because we have to carry some for breakfast and then all day tomorrow, which is going to be super hot. And I think we're going to do 27 kilometers tomorrow. I just don't know what to do with my blisters. But anyways, life on the trail is always extremely exciting. Very exciting. And very tiring. I cannot wait to get in my tent. It is day 29, 6.30 a.m. departure. It's actually a cool morning. Um, and this is the first time we've seen clouds since day one. Check those clouds out. So last night, there was some type of party going on over there. Um, we can hear music. Maybe possibly a rave? Not sure. Today's goals are to go 26 or 29 kilometers. And that will bring us um, within reach of Wrightwood. Yesterday was just the best. And between the, the pools and the strange 
bar we went to, pub, I'm not sure what that was. But it was a really fun day. It was a late night, we did some night hiking. So let's see what today brings. Um, there's nothing but desert on the menu for today. Um, I did hear there was some type of fruit stand. So hopefully we can get some fresh fruit because we're kind of doing it right. We're almost out of food. Um, we got some ramen for tonight and ramen for tomorrow. And there's only one pack of cheese. And uh, breakfast was a little slim pickings. I put some oatmeal, some chocolate protein powder, and some rice flour. Uh, but I'm hungry. That's okay though. My goal is to lose some weight and so far so good. I think I've lost 14 pounds. You can see it in my face actually. The jowls aren't as long thanks to my daddy. Him and his jowls. He was sure to pass that down to me. But um, yeah, so this is today.